this time, so don't fly too high Be sure to keep the ground in sight here with uh, my friend Ron. He came from America for the literally first time yeah. and he came in our niche. He chose to come here. So how is how are you and what are your experiences here? In uh, it's been wonderful so far. Everybody has been great. Everybody I've met has been uh, really nice, uh, friendly and uh, yeah, I, I haven't had any difficulties so far whatsoever. It's been wonderful. Great, because you came so many kilometers far away. Well, yeah. Nish has great hospitality and yes. we are famous because of it, famous because of food. Probably you tried something. <laughs> yes, I have tried uh, various dishes, um, although I, know, I rarely know what I'm eating. I, I try and I have to look up all the words. I don't know uh, all the words for all the food, so and uh, I'd love to know. Since I'm here by myself, you know, it is harder because you don't know the history of the food or uh, whether it's common or uncommon. I try and ask to have what, what's popular. I usually I'll ask what's popular and I'll, I'll eat what's popular. And Like last night I went to the restaurant and I was looking at all these sandwiches and I have no... I'm American. I, I, they were all obviously um, san, local Serbian sandwiches. The, what sausage, what meat, all that stuff. I don't exactly know what it tastes like, so I just said, well, what, what's the most popular? And I had that. <laughs> so you <laughs> follow actually local, let's say, habits? Yes, yeah. I'll, I'll ask the, the restaurant people, the staff, um, and you know, hopefully they're telling me what really is popular and not just what they make the most money with. But. <laughs> <laughs> But everything has been good so far. Everything's been wonderful. I've never, yeah, I, I've just had a wonderful time here, uh, walking around the city, uh, learning, you know, here in uh, the Nishka Tvrđeva. Yes. Uh, and uh, learning about the history of the location. I, I love history. I've always been interested in history. When I was in college many years ago, uh, it was one of the one one of the topics I considered for a major, but I didn't know how to make a living <laughs> with a history major, so I chose other things in life. But um, the yeah, history is just something I just find fascinating. And so walking around here, you know, here uh, for an American, walking over by the, uh, by the mosque not far from where we are, there's the Byzantine ruins. And like for I've been in museums and seen stuff old, but going to a location and seeing something all the way back to Byzantine era, I've never, I've never been around something that old, right? Yes. I mean, the Ottoman Empire probably occupied this region longer than the United States existed has existed yes right yes. so <laughs> so being able to walk up to things that are, are are so old so ancient and and thinking about that and letting it sink in and really understanding how old how long that history is this is the ottoman part seven early 1700s you know we weren't even a country yet you know, if this... Colombo found out this yeah. place, what he would do? <laughs> yeah, so I, I've really enjoyed it. I've, uh, I've, I've loved it every minute of it so far. That's the great. And what you find uh, out, let's say, like, like difference in uh, daily life. What uh, can you describe yes. us something that is big change, big culture? cultural thing right. that you found out never mind is it about information as service is it about people or some structure what you just found at glance what was big difference big difference uh, things are slower everything goes slower uh, we're always in a hurry where I live in the US um, you're always under a lot of stress to get things done quickly uh, we eat, you know, heavily drive-through restaurants. We don't even go into the restaurant and sit down and eat. Uh, my 
my tutor, Marco, told me, you know, coffee here is an event. You meet and you sit down and you have coffee. We don't. We race through uh, Starbucks or whatever coffee place you go to. Uh, we go through the drive through coffee places, throw our money, grab our coffee, and get, get going. We're in a very big hurry. And so the pace here stands out. Even though it's a city, everything is slower. And I don't say that is a bad thing. That's actually a good thing because we don't live being in a hurry all the time, uh, be eating your food that quickly all the time, not preparing your food. You're just running through a Burger King or McDonald's drive through is not healthy, you know. Uh, so it's a, I, I, I look at this as a good thing. And it is one of the first things that stands out. It really stands out very much. The slow. Polacco, huh? Polacco. Polacco, Polacco. <laughs> yes, here we say that uh, to have your free time and the time to relax with uh, yourself, yes. <laughs> with family, is a luxury. So for you, this is now a luxury. It is a luxury. <laughs> period of life. Actually, uh, Ron will uh, make some, ent as enterpriser, he will make something new and he would like to contribute to our uh, tourism, yeah. if I may say in that way. Also, he will try to find uh, some new customers to connect and to yeah. uh, sell, resell, whatever our products. So yeah. you will be uh, in connection with him. We will set up down also links uh, about uh, his business and about him. And this is the first time at Glance to speak about his first experience. Yeah. And in future, we hope that we together will have some, I don't know, podcast or sure. we will speak again oh, yeah. about uh, our uh, differences. Actually, we are all humans mm -hmm. uh, and uh, hope to see you again here in Serbia. Oh, Welcome. We'll definitely see each other again. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much.